hello viewers welcome to my channel thank you for joining us today here in this video tutorial I want to show everyone on how to convert KML to shapefile so I'll be digitizing some features on Google Earth Pro and I'll save it as KML to convert to shapefile format and importing into ArcGIS for further analysis so to digitize features on KML all you have to do first is to come to my places so this is my region of interest so you can use the search bar here to search your region of interest which is your study area or you can actually use the uh, place mark icon and input your coordinates of your region of interest either way can launch you to your study area so you can check under the video description to see a video on how to do just that however this is my study area and I want to digitize some of the features on this and save it as KML in order to convert to shapefile. You will come to my places, you click on that and you right click. So you go to add, navigate to folder, you click on that. So you are going to save this folder to any name of interest. So I'm going to save it as YouTube. Then when you are done, all you have to do is to click on OK. Then it is going to appear under places on your Google Earth Pro work layer. Then when you are done with that, you will right click on the YouTube folder. You will go to add. Then you, then you scroll down to the particular vector type you want to digitize. So if you are digitizing for the roads, you are going to click on paths. Then if you are digitizing for water body or buildings, you are going to digitize with polygon features. So I'll be digitizing for buildings first, then I'm going to click on polygon. So here under the name, I'm just going to type this BLD. Then when I'm done with that, I'll move my, I'll move this prompt closer going to fold it a little so that I can have space to digitize features of interest so this is a building here so this is how to digitize on Google Earth Pro alright so that is that then I'm just going to rename this as PMF BRD PMF then you click on OK so that will be saved under the folder all right so if you want to digitize other buildings you are to do the same thing by coming to youtube right click go to add then scroll down to polygon then you can rename such as this another building set of building here so this is actually not having an id so i'm just going to name that as bld alone I'm going to click on OK. So these are two buildings. So for water body, this is a water body here. I'm going to digitize that by doing the same thing. Going to polygon. Then here I'm going to call this water body. So this is the water body here. So I'm just going to digitize that. So I'm done with that and I'm going to click on OK. So I'm good with this. These are water bodies and um, 
the next thing I'm just going to do to tie is a line features, which is in this case is a road. So I'll come to my YouTube folder, go to add, then you come to pack. So these are a set of roads here. So here I have a road linking this bridge like this as Otamiri Road. So I'm just going to leave like that as in this case. So therefore, I'm just going to digitize the road. So I'm going to stop that. So, therefore, I'm going to digitize another set of roads. So I'm going to digitize from here downwards. So following the same process, right clicking on the YouTube folder I created, go to add, navigate to parts. In this case, I'm just going to label it load. Then I'm just going to start from up, coming down, and stop it here. So I'm done with that, and I'm just, I'm just going to click on OK. So this is how to digitize on Google Earth Pro and um, save your features under one folder. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is to convert this KML to shapefile. So therefore, you will click on the folder you digitize the features under, which is in this case is YouTube. You right click, then you scroll down to save place as. Okay, click on that. So when you click on that, you are going to rename your file. So I'm just going to leave this YouTube. So you can see the file format KMZ or KML, any of which is going to work fine. So I'm just going to click on save. Therefore, I'm done saving my features as KML. So therefore, the next thing to do is to minimize. Then you open your global mapper. You launch into your global mapper. So I'll be using global mapper in the course of this video to convert the KML to shapefile. Then, all right. So you come to open data files, you click on that. Therefore, you make sure you are on the folder whereby you saved your KMZ file that you save on Google Earth Pro, okay? So this is the folder of interest and it's, as you can see on the screen, this is YouTube KML, all right? So this is the KMZ KML file, Google Earth. You click on that on your system, all right? What you have, the file you have on your system, and you click on open. Therefore, as you can see, these are my features on Global Mapper labeled the way I did on the Google Earth Pro application. All right. So to convert this to Shapefile, you click on the layer, the YouTube KMZ layer on your Global Mapper. You right click, then scroll down to layer. All right. So so your layer you are going to see export layers to new file you click on that therefore you click on this particular drop down shadow arrow here you are going to see different formats different formats you can convert your features into however the format of interest in the course of this video is shape file so you are going to see the shape file here you click on that and it's going to appear there all right so when it appears you click on ok then here you have to click on OK. So what you are going to do here, if you read the information here, the Google Earth features can only be exported via different entity types. All right. What that means is that the area features can only be exported as one file. That is the polygon features as one file, while the line features as another file. The both features cannot be exported together all right so i'm just going to export my area features first which is the polygon features like the water body buildings and the rest of such features you click on that then here i am just going to rename that features as area then i'm going to click so you note the folder it is going to so it is going to my youtube folder on my system so you note that you click on save Right, so when you are done with that, you click on OK. It has converted the area, the polygon features to shapefile. Then the next thing I'm to do is to convert 
my line features by doing the same process I'm going to export layers to new file make sure you check the shape file then click on ok ok then here this time around you are going to click on export lines you click on that then here i'm just going to call this lines then i'm going to click on save all right so when you are done with that you click on ok so now we are just going to confirm the shape file information on arcgis by opening up our arcgis then you come to our data here then you navigate to the folder of interest so this is the youtube folder so therefore you can see the two shape file we exported the lines and the area so i'm just going to import that by clicking on that and i'm going to click on add so therefore you can see the features on arcgis then i'm going to add my lines features as well and the roads so these are the two features i digitized on google Earth, then converted from kml to shapefile so you can right click on the features on your layer to check the attributes information by going to the attributes table click on that so you can see the name of Tamil road and the uh, road itself so you can choose to overlay the features name id on that by going you right click on the area features then you click on label features so as you can see all the features that this for the polygon features they are already labeled then you do the same thing for the lines right click then click on label features then the rules as well will be labeled so that's all in the course of this video if you find this video more helpful and valuable do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting free tutorials from this channel thank you see you again